We've got some nice wording here on the bridge. A few nice notes from lover to another. I love rust. Time to spin around and put my dang micro anchor in. That one's gonna be risky. I've gotta do it. Here we go. Well, how's it going everybody? And welcome back to Tyler's Real Fishing. We are still up here in Minnesota doing a little little smallmouth river swing. We're out here today with uh, ND Yak Angler, another YouTuber from up here in the Minnesota area. He's, he's over there waving, and uh, yesterday we filmed an awesome video. You guys can check it out up here in this corner. It was uh, a fun time of throwing some pretty wacky lures. And Matt also filmed a pretty awesome episode as well, so you guys can click that link below and uh, check out his channel. He makes some awesome kayak content up here in Minnesota. But the goal for today is called like the City Limits Bass Challenge. So we're gonna try to, as a combined total of me and him, in the kayak today here in Eastern Minnesota, we're gonna try to get five fish over 18 inches, which is definitely hard, but not impossible. So Matt's caught a few small ones while I was setting up the camera, and uh, it's just gorgeous. As you can see, there's a, a cool bridge behind me with some graffiti. Subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet. Would love to have you guys along the journeys with me as I travel and fish, and uh, we'll see you all when we catch some dank fish. Starting off today with the Whopper Plopper. Hopefully gonna nab a few big ones. As you guys can see, the vegetation has kind of grown up around here. Matt said it's not usually like this, so it's kind of interesting. Interesting fact, don't know if you cared, but I told you, so now you know. All right, well, I wasn't recording, but I got an absolutely sick bite. I think this might be one of our first fish in the challenge. Bring it in here. Yes, sir. I saw this fish cruising up shallow, and I made a cast to him, and I missed him, and he didn't need it. And I cast right in front of his face, and he just came out of nowhere and slammed it. Slammed the plopper. That was a fun bite. I sight fished him. That was fun. First nice one of the day. I actually have a ruler, I realized, on my, on my anchor, I mean on my paddle. Will he make 18? Where is 18? Oh, he's like... He's like 17 and a half. Dang it. Not an 18er. Nice fish. You know what? Still a gorgeous fish. I couldn't tell how big he was in the water, but uh, glad to have you, my friend. There he goes. All right, one fish so far from me. A nice one, I mean a three pounder, but not not the 18 incher we need. Oh, I just scared something big. If you guys are wondering what hoodie I'm wearing, it is the uh, AFCO Geocool, I believe it's called. I'll have it linked below. You guys can use code TRF for 15% off AFCO. I love this stuff. It's like, you know, Under Armour, but even better. Love this brand. Been working with them for a few years and they make the best fishing clothes. This one has a hoodie and a buff in one. So you still wear sunscreen, but I will not get sunburned, besides maybe my nose with this thing. Oh, it's hot. Oh gosh, there he is. Surprised the heck out of me. <laughs> I don't know if it's big or not. I can't quite tell. Nope, not big. Nope. Probably the same fish that I had earlier though. It's a nice one, but it's not 18. I know, where'd the donkeys go? Woo! Oh. Well, my chesty just died, so audio will switch there to the big camera. Chunky fish, but not, not a donkey. Alrighty, gorgeous fish. Oh, well, there goes my power pole for the day. <laughs> yeah, those things don't float. Gosh, dang it. Come on, Tyler. So taking a little bit of a breather here with my leg on this log, <laughs> now that I don't have a power pole, I'm re-rigging up a Ned rig. 
just a classic green pumpkin ed rig. Just about the most classic, you know, creek river lure you can get. And to be honest, that's really all that I throw in terms of like underwater lures uh, in rivers besides this and a Kitek. So if you guys want to kind of know my top three river lures, I'll make a video of it as well and I'll really dive deeper into why I picked those. But it's really a, a top water of some kind. So probably a spook or a plopper, a Ned rig or like a little finesse jig and a Kitek. That's really about all that I throw in at least like th this type of river, like a creek type of river. And the rivers in Texas, the lower Colorado and stuff, that's more of like a largemouth deal. You know, I throw a frog there, a chatterbait, a square bill, but in most rivers, you don't have that kind of cover. You don't mostly have, you know, grass and rocks. And so the Ned Rig is my favorite little underwater critter. I've got it on the Outcast Tackle Ned Rig head. It'll be linked below. If I catch a fish on it, if I don't keep hooking these dang logs. Ah, oh, dang it. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. That was so cool. That was so cool. That was so cool. Holy smokes. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Holy crap. And he's gonna be an 18. And he's gonna be an 18. Oh, if I can get him in. That was the coolest thing I have ever seen. Yes. Yes. Oh, he followed it for like eight feet with his nose directly under it. Oh, that was so cool. Did I get on camera? Oh, I did. I don't have a polarizer on, but I'll probably still be able to see. It was him and a pike. They were both looking at it. And I was like, please, smallly eat it. I don't even think you need to measure that one. No, I think we know. <laughs> that guy's gonna be, huh? Probably 19. That's a 19, yeah. Look at that. That is gorgeous, folks. Abs oh, I'm in a tree. I'm in a tree. Can I get out of this tree? I'll, I'll let him go. See ya, buddy. Yes! Fish number one. That's over 18. I really hope you guys can see that on my chest cam. I'm gonna zoom in on that. That was sick. I've got one here. Sorry, I was off camera. Made a cast to this little Eddie here. And he might, he, he's long. He's longer than I thought he was. He's very long. Long and skinny. Oh yeah. He might go. <laughs> we'll see. This Texas boy showing you how it's done, eh? I would drop my power pole, but I don't have one. So that's always nice. He ate that good. He ate it really good. There we go. You think he'll go? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's probably 18 and a half. That's an 18 and a half. Heck yeah. I got my measuring stick. That's why I know it's probably easier than the paddle. He's just at 18. Yeah. Yeah. We'll count it. Just at 18. We'll count it. Oh get a selfie from a girlfriend and my mother. All right, see you friend. Oh, now I got a long paddle to make again. Good, get my arm exercised in for the next few days. This fish is right in there. I think the Ned Vig will get him. Got him, oh dang it. <laughs> he was tiny. I had a little itsy bitsy one. There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. I knew he was in there. I knew he was in there. Oh, yep. Yeah, he's he's got me in the weeds. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me your head. Give me your head, you idiot. Gosh, that's a big one too. I have a net, what am I doing? Get in my net. Yes. Let's go. Oh, I knew he was in there. 
I kept seeing him swim around. <laughs> there he is. Yes. Let's go. On the Ned rig, fell out of his mouth. And that right there is going to be number three. Number three for me on the 18 inches. Yes. Let's go. Oh, that feels good. Gorgeous fish right there. We're going to give him a measure just in case, but I'm pretty sure he's 18. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's 18 and a half. Gorgeous fish. This is what I like about Minnesota, is you have untouched fish that are just giants. Yes. That's a fun time, man. That's a fun time. We're gonna get out the connect scale here. I'm not doing a five best limit, but I just kinda wanna see how big this smallmouth is. He's gotta be close to four. I guess in high three. Three, four, seven. Three and a half pounder. I'll take it as a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Heck yeah. We're taking a little bit of a snack break here. Matt's trying to get himself a big one for his video. By the way, his video that he films will be linked up here in this corner of all of his fish catches from today. Look, dog, yeah. It is so beautiful. I love just like standing in the river, holding on to my kayak, letting the water go across my toes, eat some cherries. All right, let's catch more fish. Well, we got one, boys and girls, on the hair jig. That was cool. I was working it really slow along the side of the grass line, and uh, a little guy came out and nabbed it. Oh, come on. Bring yourself in here. Yes. Oh, and there he goes. How's my hair jig looking? Still looks good. Another tip that I have for you guys is if you can, if you can throw a little hair jig in your lake or creek or whatever, some of the best ways to catch a fish is on a hair jig. They're just so tantalizing. They look like a little, I don't know, bug or leech or something. And these fish just can't resist. They come out and gulp. Ah. Ah. It's like the limbo, but scarier. We've made it back to the ramp. The rampity ramp ramp. Alrighty, boys and girls, we are back at the ramp, as I said. I'm gonna kind of go over the gear that I caught my fish on real quick. Uh, the three that, or I guess two of the three that I caught them on today was the Whopper Plopper, the 90 size, uh, I think in monkey butt color, with some 30 pound Seaguar uh, Smackdown braid. I probably should have thrown 40 pound, a little bit too light for today, but 30 pound gave me a lot of castability. Uh, and then we had the TP1 Black Speed Suit, TP1 Black 7.3 Medium Heavy. Uh, maybe a little bit too long, or was it seven foot? Oh, my bad. I'm throwing this on my spinnerbait rod. This is the 610 medium heavy. That's why I was able to make such accurate casts in and around these river scenarios. Usually I throw any top water on a 7.3 heavy or, or higher, even like a 7.6, but in a river on a kayak, it's really hard to navigate and make good casts within that area. So that's what I was throwing. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this content, subscribe to this channel and we'll see y'all on the next episode of my Minnesota, Minnesota sweep, Minnesota tour, something like that. See y'all.